So, so here we go with day two. The intention today is completely singular. I just want to practice with this lens more. So if I come into some scenes that are very um, interesting, then yeah, we'll, we'll see how that develops. But it's, it's early on a Tuesday. Not early, but it's midday on a Tuesday. Um, I don't expect there to be too many people anywhere. I'm just going to go downtown because it's the easiest to access. It's the easiest to get in and get out. And um, I'm just going to go walk around and um, yeah, just get more familiar with the lens on the camera um, and try to prevent what happened yesterday from happening uh, where I'm in a good position and I just miss the focus. So that's the intention for today. I'll come back here to talk about um, what I thought of everything and uh, I'll be talking about the photos I guess here in uh, a good couple of moments in video time. So. All right, so starting off, I'm going to go ahead and get the images that didn't quite work out of the way first, and there are several of them, and then I've got a couple that are a little bit interesting at the end, so I'll save those. So this one, you had two of this Zoom drain truck uh, and van side by side, and he was sandwiched in the middle, and so I thought maybe I could do something interesting with it, um, and I just missed it. Uh, there might have been a more interesting shot actually a little bit before this where he was talking to the driver of the van but i just i didn't get it the focus is a little off too so this one i um i liked the spray paint on the doors and um the uh the plywood and then the guy on his phone um i i just, thought about maybe um, if there wasn't a lot going on I could play with the idea of old white guys on their phone <laughs> and just have some fun with it but missed focus um, and abandoned that idea pretty quickly this little dog was adorable and he was just spazzing out so I, uh, <laughs> I just snapped a quick picture really no intention behind this thing other than getting the dog um, she was carrying him around and I thought about possibly waiting uh, for her to pick him back up and put him in the in the satchel there but uh, it just didn't really turn out right before this shot she was feeding the baby and I just missed it, so I tried to get closer and uh, get it again of her spooning the ice cream to the little baby, and it just didn't really happen again. So I got this one, and um, yeah, it, it is what it is, nothing special. Completely missed focus on this one, the framing was a little off too, um, just this guy carrying this stack of DVDs. Uh, I don't really like the cars in the background either, so. Nothing here, just frame the guy up. Um, he's a little out of focus, and I like the angles and the lines. I like the green awnings, but yeah, just missed this one. Um, how I could have made it better, I don't know. Um, I mean, one, obviously, is get him in focus and maybe do a vertical frame, bringing the car, uh, getting rid of the car, and then framing that speed limit sign and then catching the green behind his head. That could have made, made it a little more interesting, uh, just kind of simplifying the, the elements, but yeah. Guy with an umbrella and the hat. This was just a lost image. I was too far away when I saw him. Uh, I thought it was interesting. A, a gentleman in a suit with a umbrella, um, which I feel like aren't that common <laughs> anymore. And then he had that hat on and the backpack kind of put it over the edge. But I was on the other side of the sidewalk and I actually ran to get this 
Um, so yeah, just a cool opportunity and interesting, interesting guy. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. This dog was adorable. Um, I just wanted to grab one of him. He, uh, he hung out with me for a couple of minutes. Now this is one of the more interesting shots of the day, um, but I completely flubbed the focus and the framing was off. I just, she got out of the car and I wasn't really anticipating it like I should have been. And I just, yeah, just not being familiar enough with the lens, couldn't get focus in time and tried to snap one off, but um, just missed it. And that's a shame because this, this is exactly the type of photo that I would love. I, I don't like the cars in the background, but sometimes you just have to work with what you have. Uh, I just love how the baby's kind of hanging off of her. I like the outfit that she has on. Um, she's holding the baby's bottle, which matches the outfit. And it was just a really, really interesting photo that unfortunately got missed. That's one that I, uh, that's one that I regret not, not nailing. I was on the phone when this guy walked by and I, I sprinted across the sidewalk to uh, to try to see if I could get something, but I couldn't get in front of him. Um, just a guy in suspenders and a bright orange shirt, so it was it was interesting, but uh, didn't wasn't able to make anything out of it. And this lady, I uh, was also still on the same phone call. And um, just, again, not having the lens set to where it needed to be. She walks by with her hand in the bag. So her hand was like in the bag, or her entire arm was in the bag. And she was just walking like normal. It looked like she didn't have an arm, um, which was really interesting. And as soon as I noticed it, I knew that my settings were off and I'd missed the photo. So this is the result, um, unfortunately, because that, that, was, that was cool. saw her and just thought she looked really out of place <laughs> so I, uh, I grabbed the photo um, I, it's all right the yellow Jeep in the background is cool um, but again I don't love cars if the yellow Jeep would have been the only car and maybe she was two steps back that would have been interesting or I could have um, switched sides to the other side of the sidewalk and framed her against the building and that would have been a much more interesting um, frame and kind of shot down on her uh, but yeah just um, this is where I happened to be when she popped up and uh, this is what I what I got this is one of the more interesting ones from the day um, I love how this guy his, his mouth is just wide open I think it's a guy and his wife and um, there's like this weird flying whatever little blue creature it looks like he's just looking at it in pure amazement walked by these two people um and grabbed the photo i like the colors i like the uh the squares and then i like if you if you'll see right behind him there's cracked brick that is kind of pointing into him and then there's the the stain in the concrete in the front, which gives the frame a little bit more depth. And there's the crack on the right-hand side of the frame that leads to the wall. So there's plenty of depth here. And these guys were just sitting under this awning. And um, I liked the, the green in contrast with her yellow handbag and her kind of pinkish sweater. This was an old lady um, carrying, I guess, a bag of rice. I'm not sure what that was. Um, her face was very interesting, but I wanted to kind of cut the head off. Um, my thinking being, uh, I kind of know this person. Um, 
not like I don't actually know them in real life, but I kind of know what this person, I, I've had several people that fit this description in my life. So I kind of wanted to leave that, her face open to the imagination a little bit. Um, I really like the, the more minimal shots too of just um, somebody's body or somebody's motion. And she had that colorful uh, jacket on and the cane and the rice and I'll leave the rest up for for the viewer's imagination. Now I really like this one. Um, just her face kind of tells her story. Uh, the sunglasses she has on, the mask, um, the, the dirty kind of pink sweater and then the, the purplish brown sweater on top of that it kind of just you you can get a lot from just the the portrait of this of this lady and um she actually said don't take my photo after and i just said hey i really like your glasses i thought they looked really nice and um hope you have a nice day but i really like this one this might be the the shot of the uh of the day Um, yeah, maybe not as emotionally <laughs> striking or um, as personal, but I just love this shot. The ladder leaning, the sign, that the B, whatever that says over in the corner, um, the whimsical bricklaying and the tree and the green background. It just, it really works. The composition um, worked really well. I like how the guy's sitting and it just kind of... Uh, I don't know something about this um just this is my my sh favorite shot of the day so all right so today was absolutely just the best kind of day i probably stayed out for a little over three hours um i got out it was a day that i normally wouldn't have gone out because of weather conditions and once I was out there I was just it was incredible um, I definitely I went in with the intention of learning the lens and um, it, it's always good to have that intention but I definitely missed focus on a good number of shots um, just still kind of dialing it in I used to use zone focus um, and then this is the first lens um, this is a Zeiss 35 and it has a tab on it. So this is like the first native tab lens that I've had um, So having that I've wanted to try to kind of transition into using that for focus where I always return the lens to infinity and then depending on the um, Depending on the scene I can adjust accordingly um, I've heard of a lot of people a lot of um, legendary photographers they use that method of focusing and um, it's really just an extension of zone focusing but just something that I've never tried so I'm, I'm trying to learn how to do that and it's it's not coming as uh, as easily as as I would like but it, it is coming slowly and um, it's just gonna take take time so uh, but yeah I did miss a couple but man beautiful day wonderful day to be out shooting um, temperature was perfect and uh, there were surprisingly more people out than I expected so one of those things where if I wasn't doing this like intentional daily thing then I might have not gone out and uh, I think I would have missed some um, missed some good stuff so definitely happy with it um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that and um, can get something out of this and uh, until tomorrow <laughs>